Yes, what are the ingredients for the plants? That they take it from the soil. Let me show it to you. See, all these molecules, plants obtain minerals like the sodium, potassium, phosphorus, chlorine, calcium, magnesium, and very, very, very important water. Correct? All of these come from the soil. So the ingredients for the plants, the majority of them come from the soil. Correct? So the supermarket for the plants would be the soil. Great. Soil acts as a reservoir for all these nutrients which the plants require for their survival to perform photosynthesis. Correct? Okay. Now, talking about water, that's very important, you know, what is essential for us and for plants, it's absolutely essential. Now, if I tell you, there are many types of soil water. Yeah, does it sound weird? Yeah, many types of soil water. Yes, let me talk about it. Types of soil water. Let's see. See, hygroscopic water, gravitational water, capillary water. Types of water? Well, I'm sure you are not much aware of these, but I'll explain it to you. So, hygroscopic water, gravitational water, capillary water. Can any one of you tell me? Try to guess at least. Well, this classification that I'm showing here, it's based on what? What is the basis of this classification of the types of soil water? Try to guess it. Just hygroscopic, take this in, gravitational water, capillary. I, I am sure you, you know about capillary, right? So, capillary water. So, what is the basis? Simple. See, the basis is on the way the water molecules interact with the Soil particles, that's the basis of this classification. Correct? Again, biologists will classify, of course. Great. So, let's understand what are these types in detail. First, the hygroscopic water, what's that? C. This forms a thin film and it adheres to the soil particle. Take it slowly, okay? Understand it properly. So, hygroscopic water is what we are discussing now. It forms a thin film, okay? It adheres to the soil particles and forming a thin film around the soil particles, okay? But you know what the unfortunate part of this is? The water is not available for the plants. Sad. So, hygroscopic water the water which adheres to the soil particle forms a thin film around the soil particles and this is the water which is not available for the plants for the use. Got it? Note this down. That's about the hygroscopic water. Now, gravitational water. What's this? Let's see. So, water, it seeps through the soil due to gravity. Of course, gravity, it's attracting everything, right, towards the center of the earth. So, water slowly and steadily seeps through the soil due to gravity, okay? So there are gaps in between the soil through which the water seeps and those are known as, of course, the pores, very common term. You know what? Uh, the pores can be of two types. What are the types? Wait. Macropores and, again, biologist, micropores. Macropores and micropores, can you tell me what are the differences? Macropores and micropores? It's easy. Uh, the name suggests, yeah. We have been dealing with these two terms, macro, micro, a lot in biology. Macropores, of course, it means that these are large pores and these are small pores. Micropores are the smaller pores, okay? So through the gaps that you can see, can you see here? What's happening? So through the gaps in the macrospore, macropores, under the influence of what? Gravity. Under the influence of gravity, the water drains and moves deeper into the soil. Reaches the water table. So we use that water as groundwater. We can extract it through tube wells, right? You know about it. Great. Now the unfortunate part is, this water is so deep, very little is available for the plants. So only plants which can grow huge, their roots specifically, which can go deep inside the earth and can extract that water, which is basically groundwater, okay, from the water table. 
they can only use but otherwise very little of this water the gravitational water is available for the plants for their use got it so hygroscopic water not available gravitational water most of it is not available for most of the plants correct okay so we are left with the capillary water so you understand this would be definitely the type which is used by the plants it is available for the plants held in the micropores macropores micropores the smaller pores of the soil okay main water available to the plant so this is the water which is available to the plants and it is present in the micropores of the soil and can be easily taken up by the plants for their use clear okay well so this is capillary water hygroscopic water gravitational water capillary water these two not available for plants majorly right hygroscopic it's uh, not available gravitational very less is available but capillary water is the water which is actually available for the plants for the use clear so questions can be asked please note them now